Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of equations, specifically how we can create stories to match certain equations, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So a very common type of equation is going to involve two types of variables here. We have an x and a y, and it's going to look like this type of form, y equals x plus b. Now in this case, our y is going to be our independent variable. So that's the variable that gets things started. It stands by itself. And our y is what we're looking for. That is our dependent variable. It changes based on the independent variable. So this is our answer. And it changes based on what happens to the independent variable. And you see here, this type of equation is what we can call an additive equation because we're simply adding something to our independent variable in order to get our dependent variable. Now, how can we write a story problem that matches that type of equation? So this problem can show this relationship here. Jane had $10. She earned $1 a day. How much money would she have after three days and then after seven days? So that's going to match our equation here because it has the three components we're looking for. First, it has our dependent variable. It has the y, and that's what we're looking for with either the 3 or the 7. Because that amount of money that she has is dependent or changes based on the interaction between the independent variable and the amount of money that she starts with. So she's going to start with $10. So this is going to be represented by our letter B. And in this case, B simply means it is a constant or it has a fixed value. So she starts with $10. That's not going to change. How much money she has after three or seven days is going to be our y. That's our dependent variable. What changes then is our x, our independent variable, and that is $1 per day. So what we could do is we can plug these in and we can look to say, well, y equals, let's say, after three days. So $3, because it's a dollar a day, plus 10, that's going to make $13 after three days. Or if we wanted to look at the second question, $7 for a dollar a day, plus the 10 that she started with, and that's going to be $17. So those are some examples of a word problem that works with this additive type of equation. Now let's look at a multiplicative relationship. When we're looking for an equation that shows a multiplicative relationship, it's typically going to follow this format, y equals kx. y, once again, is our dependent variable. So that is going to be completely dependent or change based on the interaction between x, our independent variable. That's the one that's going to start things off. And then we have a constant here. But this constant, in this case, it's represented by k, but it could be any letter is going to be multiplied by the independent variable. So we can call this a multiplicative relationship. So let's look at a problem that would represent this type of equation. So here's a very simple problem that matches this type of equation. Jeremy loved to eat 10 ounce chocolate bars. How many ounces of chocolate will he have eaten after six bars or after 10 bars? Well, we have two questions to answer here, and the answer is going to be our y. That's going to be our dependent variable because that number is going to change based on what happens with our independent variable and our constant. So let's find our constant. That is a fixed value that does not change. And in this case, it is 10 ounces because that is the weight of the chocolate bar. So each chocolate bar is the same, 10 ounces. That's our constant. And you see here, it's going to be multiplied by our independent variable. So the variable that starts things off is how many bars he eats. So our independent variable, we have two here because we have two questions to answer, is 6 and 10. So let's start with 6. So let's say we have 10 ounce bars and there are 6 10 ounce bars. How many ounces will we have? Well, we are going to have 60 ounces. Or if we wanted to solve our second problem, we can say 10 ounce bars multiply by 10 of them, 10 10-ounce 10 bars, that's going to make 100 ounces. 